representing Mexico, won a silver medal with his team in Antalya. So now we get set for the match between Brady Ellison and Ernesto Boardman. This is Ernesto Boardman, the 23-year-old from Mexico, who's ranked 16th in the world, averaging 9.1 per arrow. 21 wins during his brief career. Ernesto starting with a bow and arrow in 2004, making his international debut in 2008. Here in 2016, World Cup team medals in Antalya and Medellin, both of them silver. As we take a look now at Brady Ellison of the United States, 27 years old and ranked sixth in the world. Of course, Brady Ellison, the bronze medalist in Rio this year and almost got himself into the gold medal match. Yeah, there was a, also amazing shooting from him over performance all over the, at the whole uh, Olympics. So it's... Uh, that was a classic it, match. It was. Kuban Chan and Brady Ellison, and it went to a shoot-off. Brady shot an eight, and I think Ku shot a nine, yeah. as I so. recall. Of course, Mr. Ku is here. We'll see him <coughs> momentarily. Who knows? We may see a rematch between those two before the day is over. Right now, Brady averaging 9.3 per arrow, 145 wins in his career. Win percentage of 76%. And the bronze medalist from Rio to shoot first. With his stars and stripes bow. Nine. An amazing thing with Brady as well has been the top of his game for so many years. He just he's just there all the time. It's amazing to follow. That's a good time. Ernesto. Who's had a very strong outdoor season. Yeah, good job. Line. Just catching the line. But Ernesto pressure. came to play, didn't he? Yeah. Nice group, nice shooting. The question in Brady's mind is, will that be enough? The way Ernesto is shooting, three straight tens, and he'll take this set. Third shot, nice. close. Not quite, so they'll split. Both of them coming out with their A games. Ernesto Boardman, who this season individually nope. just missed out on a bronze medal at uh, stage one in Shanghai, then finished in the top ten, was eighth in Antalya on Konialti Beach at stage three. 2016 saw Ernesto become an Olympian for the first time, reached the Pan American Games and become a Pan American champion for the first time. <laughs> He's also a first time World Cup stage medalist with the uh, Mexican team collecting silver medals in Antalya and Medellin. Been a good summer for Ernesto Borderman and a great summer for Brady Ellison. I've been busy both of them. Yes. <laughs> Normally you would see uh, Mel Nichols in the coach box for, for Brady, I think. But here there's, it's Toya that's stepping in, uh, Brady's better half. Yes. I know bo both of them are leaving, I think, uh, already tomorrow for the World Field Championships in, in uh, Dublin. Dublin. Yeah. <coughs> so we saw Toya out at the practice range uh, shooting on the, on the field fa target faces. Of course, Toya, formerly Toya Czerny from Slovenia, world-class archer in her own right. Nine. Give it a click left and you'll get it. So Mel, her father-in-law, stepping aside. <laughs> We're keeping peace in the family, Martin. <laughs> I know all those three, they have a great yeah. relationship, so it's, yeah. And also when, you, when you're in there, you just, you need a person that have your back and have your time, so you can only focus about shooting. Nine. Toya has been in so many matches in there herself, so it's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. If memory serves me correctly, I think Brady's been in the coach's box for Toya. Yeah. Nine. And 
advantage, Ernesto Boardman. As Brady lines up his third shot yeah, of this set, and that's a great one. A 10 for Ernesto will, will take the set. Nines, and then they tie it again. We'll see how he handles the pressure here. He wants it badly. Oh. Nine. Uh, again, nice grooving, good shooting from both of them. He's just outside of him. So Ernesto Bordman, who I'm sure got a lot of great experience down in Rio, participating in the Olympics down there. Had to boost his confidence, and he seems to be a little bit more confident archer here at the World Cup Finals, competing against Brady Ellison in his first match of the day for the men. Four quarterfinal matches, setting up two semis this afternoon as the Ellisons, who will, after the uh, field archery championships in Dublin, take a well-deserved vacation break in Slovenia. Brady going uh, to meet with the in-laws. <laughs> yeah, he can probably not escape it anymore. No, you got to keep peace in the family. Yeah. He's a smart man. Meanwhile, his uh, his mom and Mel will head to uh, Hawaii for <laughs> a little R&R. &R. Yeah. After a long season, and it is a long season, we go through the indoor season, which will start up pretty soon. Yeah, we, uh, actually, yeah, we have maybe one or two weeks off now, and then you start again. When is Marrakesh? I'm actually not sure. Is that in uh, October, November? Maybe November. Yeah, maybe. I have to look at my calendar. That's my on my next to-do list for the next week to start planning the indoors. Start planning. <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to have this done and dusted. I may have to go home and pay a few bills. <laughs> it's a good thing you're here for work then. Yes, yes. That'll help you pay the bills. This is work? <laughs> Some call it work. Uh, we call it a hobby, right? Uh, it beats <laughs> digging ditches, I'll tell you that, yeah. watching Brady Ellison shooting tens. Borderman, I think, caught the line. Yeah, it's very close. Too close to call. I think it just bent out of the line. Yeah, they're marking it now, so it might be. Ten, ten, it doesn't matter. Ten, ten. Oh. The trifecta for Brady Ellison here in the third set. Yes. How appropriate. A nice follow up from Anesto. That's the moving set right there for Brady Ellison. Maybe. We'll see. It's up four to two in the match. After splitting the first two, put three tens together in that third set. So Brady Ellison this year won a gold medal in Colombia, stage two and on Medellin was seventh on Coney Alti Beach in Antalya, Turkey. Started off the season 17th in Shanghai. Of course, even though he didn't get the medal there, he did get some points, and that helps him get to his seventh consecutive season-ending World yeah. Cup final it's event, which is remarkable. Uh, again, he has been on, on top of his game for so many years. It's, uh, yeah. He's a fixture here yeah. at these World Cup finals. And now with his wife having his back here in Denmark. He's up four to two over in Nesto Boardman. The 23-year-old Mexican ranked 16th in the world. Still with a chance though, he can come back if he can take this set, tie it up. That's a long shot, this one. Full oh. draw, a long time, and you could see the grimace as soon as he released. Wasn't happy about that one. And that's, I'm not sure he will come back from that against Brady. Thought it through too much, you think? Good job. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Good job. Brady's dialed in, for sure. Nine. Much better effort by Ernesto. Mm. 
knows he may have sealed his fate with that seven. We'll have to wait and see, but Brady Ellison, no let up, not much. Just outside the 10 ring. Oh. And that may have done it. May have been the final nail in the coffin for Ernesto Boardman in this match. Started out shooting very, very well. But Brady Ellison just picked up steam as he went along and he closes it out with a 10. Wins big in the fourth set and takes the match by the final score of six to two. Ernesto putting up a fight in the first two sets. They split those. They were tied at two all after two sets, but then Brady Ellison breaks away. Three straight tens in the third set and a strong fourth set. Brady moving on, taking care of business. And yeah, that heart is beating. And be still our beating hearts. So maybe a taste of what's to come here later today. Brady Ellison. See one of those shots by Boardman veering way off course. And that may be the best prize of all right there. The high five. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the high five. <laughs> yeah.